Yo, Kochia. Did you see that? Yeah, the new Zack skin. Oh, it's so fucking cool, man. It's uh, the battles, Battle Cast 1. Yeah, the liquid metal, you know, and the mini Zack. It's so fucking cool. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I mean, like, it's... Uh, what, Alicia? Don't you see I'm talking with Kochia right now? About more important thing? Uh, what? What do you mean it's already on? Oh, wait, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Why did you tell me, Alicia? Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, hey guys. Uh, did you hear that? No, uh, I mean, did you hear everything? <laughs> uh, let's pretend that it never happened, okay? Good. Hello, everyone. How are you? My name, <laughs> My name is Ordinary, and welcome back to Kill or Love. So, last episode, uh, we are planning to kill Anna. That's right. Uh, we are gonna prepare to uh, knock her down and kill her at 6 at the evening. But, uh, you ask why I'm s sound so happy? Well, of course, because I want to kill Anna. Uh, I mean, uh, I want Anna to stop stalking us and so we can have a happy life. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I guess we, we are really close. I know I said like, uh, in three last episode, but we are this close. To be at the climax, I must at uh, almost at my climax. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue then. I cannot wait. Let's go. Oh, you're leaving already. Oh, okay then. Well, good night, Kochia. Oh, by the way, be sure to subscribe to this channel to support it. I really really appreciate it, uh, and it makes Kocha happy. You want to see Kocha happy, don't you? <laughs> Alright then, uh, let's move on. Do the transition. Alright, so this is the last time we went off. Uh, the, fin the evening of the day, Grace told me we might both kill Anna together. I worried so much that I got a favor. Goodness. Oh, damn. I was laying down on the bed. Anna put a cold, wet, wet towel over my forehead. I did think you had a bit of a favor. Or fever. But... You said you were fine when I left. Well, I mean, sick can come anytime. By the way, uh, stay safe, guys. Wash your hands and uh, st stay clean. Uh, keep distance with others if you want to go outside and wear, ma wear a mask, okay? <laughs> Just a small PSA for you guys. I mumbled something. I might have been trying to tell her to stay away. It was seeing Anna, thinking about what we do to her, that had scared me so much that it made me sick. I mean, who's like to, uh, who's excited to kill someone? You know, planning to kill someone. Well, maybe Anna will happy to do that, <laughs> or maybe Anna already have a plan. I mean. Yeah, she almost uh, slit Grace's throat before. Yeah, probably I'm just gonna uh, looking forward if he, if she had uh, has a plan to kill someone. I was weak. I can't understand what you're saying. Well, whatever it is, you can tell me later. For now, 
just raise, okay? My thermometer reading made her frown. If this goes up anymore, I'm taking you to the hospital. Oh, I mean, yeah, Anna is genuinely worried about uh, Jack's life, but she only cares about Jack's uh, life. I croak out that I was fine. Oh, sweetie. You will be fine, but only if you do as I say. <laughs> that sounds more like a threat, you know? Like, if you want to stay alive, uh, do, as, uh, do as I say. Try to get some sleep. I'll get you some medicine and a nice cup of ginger root tea. That actually sounds really nice. I want that drink. Oh, thanks. I managed to sleep for the next hour, though I'd wake up constantly. After that, I took a shower. The water was so cold on my skin, it hurt. But Anna had warned me not to set it too hot, so I didn't. Damn. I mean, Jack still uh, still listen to Anna's suggestion, you know, because she's a nurse, maybe. I put on a fresh set of clothes, then I lay down on the clean sheets and I had lied out. Within 10 minutes, everything was clammy with sweat again. Oh, you know like the, the feeling when you uh, get out of the shower and you start sweating again, It's it feels uncomfortable as heck. Anna didn't blame me, she didn't have a ba bad word to say, didn't even sigh, though I know she was tired. She was a saint. She was being so kind to me, and I was going to help kill her. There must be, I thought, some other way. I guess uh, it's the only choice because now, in uh, in the real time, you are planning to kill her. I couldn't let this end in violence. I just couldn't. So, my fever uh, fever numb brain came up with the best plan it could. Hmm. I don't know, Jack. Are you sure? Uh, yes, I feel so much better now. I can take a day off. It it will probably be fine. I'll be okay. Oh, I cannot do a sick voice, you know, like the uh, a guy with sore throat voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hora, I handed her the thermometer. It was a mercury thermometer, and I had carefully let it reach only a near fever, po uh, fever point. I didn't lie when I said I felt better, but I did still have a fever. Well, alright then. Please stay safe, and call if there's any problems. Anything at all? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm got. Uh, I'm got. Uh, I won't do it again. She left, and I got to work. Oh, the plan. There was a trace of my past somewhere in the apartment. 
There had to be. I didn't know where it was or what it would look like, but I hoped that Anna had brought something with her here. I was going to find it. Oh, that's smart. You know, like a piece of memento to, re- to make me remember something. Then, I comfort Anna with it. And whatever after that, I wasn't going to let anyone get killed. I really should have done this before, I thought. I would have, uh, it would have saved me a lot of grief. I mean, could you like uh, hold the burden of murdering someone? You know, even though Anna is like evil person, can you hold the burden? If uh, like the blood in your hand for the rest of your life, I mean it's kind of messed up, you know. I don't think I can live. Uh, I can live with that uh, burden. But it was no use thinking about what could have been. So I search. I found what I was looking for. It's an nightstand in the top drawer. It was the only thing there. Anna had come to trust me so much that she hadn't bothered hiding it. Or she'd wanted me to find it. It's all the Anna's master plan all along. When I saw it, I didn't think. It was the clue I was looking for. It was a picture, uh, a picture book. A badly made one, too. Thick pieces on paper stapled together. The drawing smeared on with crayons. Oh, is it gonna be Anna's diary that we read uh, sometime? I read it on a whim. I was curious. By the last page, I wasn't curious anymore. This wasn't a picture book. Oh, I got the goosebumps. It was a confession. Oh, my heart is not ready. (laughs) This is it. The Little Wolf. Oh, that's cute. I mean, like, it looks so innocent. For now. There once was a little wolf. It had a mommy wolf and it had a daddy wolf. But mommy wolf and daddy wolf didn't love the little wolf. Why is that? Those day. They didn't love it, and they didn't love each other, and they fought, and fought, and fought, and fought. And then, one day, something happened, and the little wolf was all by itself. But, the little wolf didn't stay alone for long. Oh, I see. So the wolf is Anna, and it's Jack's family. I assume that because I assume it's the dog is Buddy, you know, uh, Jack's dog. One day, a family of sheep took it in. There was mommy sheep, a daddy sheep, and a little lamb. Oh. I- I was right, and the big dog named Buddy. They were a happy family. But they didn't like wolves. The sheep said to the little wolf, Wolves shouldn't... I'm sorry. 
<laughs> uh, let me try again. Wolves should all be locked away. As he said, you are lucky to be alive. <laughs> they did not know that the little wolf was a wolf. What? So, the little wolf played along. And it went back, back, <laughs> like a sheep, and it grass like a sheep, and for a while, it was happy, but it wasn't happy for long. The little wolf was a wolf. It was hungry. It needed to hunt. It knew how to hunt too. It had seen the devolve hunt. It had seen him do all kinds of things. Oh. Oh. Buddy! No! What is it, Jojo? <laughs> I'm so sorry. The first thing that the little wolf hunted was the big dog named Buddy. Mommy sheep and daddy sheep were really scared. Oh no! They said. The wolf, there are wolves around. We should be careful. Also, the wolf disguise. They didn't know the little wolf had done it. But the little lamb did know. <gasps> what? What is this metaphor? The little lamb didn't like the little wolf. The little wolf was afraid. The little lamb was going to tell mommy sheep and daddy sheep everything. And it did tell them. But the sheep didn't believe the little lamb. They didn't believe one word. Why is that? And days passed. Pass. And weeks pass, and the little wolf was hungry again. Very hungry. What is it? A picture book of Kira Yoshikage? <laughs> and so, one night, I didn't like that. It went to mommy ship and daddy ship's room. I don't want to click more. Uh, oh. It ripped them open when they were sleeping. What? So is... Is Anna murder Jack's parents? Oh, that's fuck up, man. Ah. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, that's how I uh, interpret the story so far. It got their blood all over itself, and the little wolf went to the little lamb. The little lamb was awake. He probably was trying to cross the border. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The little lamb was uh, had heard the noise of its parents being hunted. It saw the blood, and it smelled the blood too. The little wolf came closer. 
and as the little wolf came closer, it saw that the little lamb was not a lamb at all. <gasps> it was a wolf. Oh, oh! I love the detail. I think it's the uh, blood smear around around the paper. That's that's nice touch. I like it. But I mean, it was a wolf. What? Wait. Maybe Jack also fuck up in the brain. Just like the little wolf. It had been hiding here. With all the sheep. Maybe it did not even know that it was a wolf. The little wolf did not did not kill it. The little wolf could not hunt one of, of its own. So the little wolf went away. But before it left, the little wolf promised they would meet again. They would be two wolves in a world of sheep. Maybe sheep uh, represent a normal person and wolf represent insane people. You bitch! <laughs> I found it hard to stand back up. Oh, you bitch. This is what you wanted me to rem remember? This is what you... This psycho had taken everything from me. Had almost done so a second time. And for what? I swear to Aquasama. <laughs> I spoke a lot. I imagined my family there with me. The family she had taken. I swear. I swear I'll fight what? Not even killing her seem enough anymore. Or maybe it would be enough. Oh! Maybe if Jack kill Anna, he will awaken his inner wolves, you know? <laughs> and he'll become a serial murderer. Oh, that's gonna be a hell of a twist. As long as we made it hurt, made it bleed. I mean, that's fuck up you know like I assume uh, the Jack's parents adopt her when she was alone and she killed them you know <laughs> uh, where am I Doko <laughs> I stir stir only slightly awakening this, not knowing if what I am feeling around me is a dream or delusion or reality. I am sitting up, but I am not sitting still. There is rumbling underneath me. There is wind in my face. Somehow, through all this, I sense that it's night time. I try to speak. My limp mouth only manages a rasping breath. Oh. You finally awake? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I already did that joke. Come on, man. Tixi, that won't do. What?
A syringe? Did you drug me, Anna? A familiar beast sting of pain pitches the back of my neck. I feel myself sinking. Then, I feel nothing. I am gone. No more rumbling. No more wind in my face. No more me. Oh. By the time Anna came home, it had been stewing in my head for hours. My head for her had become a living thing, eating away at me. Tadaiwa! <laughs> Jack? Moshi moshi! <laughs> Hello? I tried to say hi back, but I couldn't. If I say anything at all, the head will come spilling out of me. And it wasn't ta time yet. Wait until 6. Where are you, Jack? Jack Kun? Doko? <laughs> Doko ni desu ka? Anna sounded worried. This made me happy. I couldn't fake it anymore. If he saw me, she would know. Oh no. I ran to the bathroom, slammed the door shut, and locked it. I'll be here, I thought. Until it's time, I'll stay here. If I see her, I'll lose my mind. Anna's first step came pattering over to where it where I was. Sweetie, are you okay? Daijobu. <laughs> she tried the handle, found it locked. Can a boy have a, some privacy? <laughs> I'm so sorry for making that joke. I I just uh I found the opportunity. You're still s I'm sorry. You're still sick. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gone to work. There was a pause. Then she tried again to open the door. Hey, at least say something. You are scaring me. Jack, can you hear me? I'm fine. A sigh of relief. Oh, good. Let me in now, darling. No. I am staying here for a while. Please open the door, Jack. You don't sound all that good. You sound like you're in pain. I say it, I'm fine. There came another long moment of silence. On a guy, please tell me what's wrong. You. The time I didn't answer. Uh, I mean, this time I didn't answer. I lay down on the cold, tilted floor. I would stay like this until I felt it was about six o'clock. It's not like I had clock in here with me, but. It was better to guess than to go out now. Please stay patient uh, and focus on the objectives. Get the dragon and baron later. <laughs> Check. 
walk away. She walked away, and I thought that was it. Is she gonna bring an egg, an, an axe? You know, like in The Shining. But I heard her come back a minute later. <coughs> uh, excuse me. I'm coming in, Jack. Oh no! She's, <laughs> she's actually gonna destroy the door. S stand back from the door. The hell are you? Oh! The shining. Something, something large and heavy struck the door. Uh, stop it! It struck again, and then once more. The filmy wooden door was starting to cave in at the handle and more it will splinter Anna stop there was a dull thud as she let something heavy drop to the floor <sighs> come out then I hesitated. Yeah, she has blood weapon with with her. It's dangerous. Alright. She grunted as she picked her tool back up again. No, wait! Uh, uh, stop! I'm coming out. The door handle was smashed so so badly it almost refused to open oh jack sledgehammer <laughs> why do you have a sledgehammer damn this this woman she's crazy <laughs> also she's strong enough to hold a sledgehammer Anna dropped what turned out to be a sledgehammer, dropped it next to her purse, which was on the floor. She all but jumped on me with open arms. Don't do that to me again. I back off away from her. Bitch, you're crazy. <laughs> Oh, I got goosebumps again. Oh, why am I so easily scared? Something is wrong. I can feel it. Cue them in the music. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's retake it. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Uh, what happened, Jack? Nothing happened. Is it your... She went to feel my temperature with her hand, but I slapped it away. I mean... There you go. <laughs> Don't touch me! My words stunned her for a second. Nice CC. And we were making such great progress. What went wrong? You know what went wrong? You know damn well. Everything's been wrong ever since the beginning. You're not making any sense, Jack. For now, let's uh just calm down. It's going to be alright. No! Stay the fuck away from me! Uh, I'm gonna improvise. Hope you like it. <laughs> My back touched the wall. I stumbled. Anna bent down 
as if to tie her shoelaces. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's spooky! <laughs> oh, it's happening! It's happening, guys! Prepare yourself! Breast an impact! I saw her hand go into her purse! And she left! I mean, she left! She was on me before I could react. I thought she stabbed me with something. Got me, then there, uh, and there. Instead, she wrapped her arms around me and put her lips to mine. I tried to pry her up off, but she called herself around my body like a snake. The damn Rex is a snake. I couldn't find purchase. I panic. <laughs> her kiss was was violent. Hardly kiss at all. More like she was beating my lips off. Ew, what the hell is that sound? I tried to put my hands between us and rip her from me, but Anna wouldn't budge. I felt powerless. I couldn't even scream. I tried to, but it was too muffled for anyone to hear. Oh, she's full yandere now. Then, in a month of luck, I managed to stumble around. Anna still on me. Until she was the one with her back to the wall. I half ran half fell into the wall. Anna took the brunt of the impact. Oh, <laughs> Itayo. <laughs> she was down on her knees now, rubbing the back of her head with her left hand. Go, fuck yourself. My lips pulsed with pain. Fault raw. I touch her uh, thumb with my hand. Came back bloody, uh, bloody. God damn it! You are a real. I realized very late that she had been another flash of pain during our struggle. A feeling like someone had pinched a very strong, uh, strongly on my left shoulder. I look at the spot and found nothing there. Anna? What was... Anna looked at me, smiled, and opened her right hand. It took me a few seconds to see what she was holding there. My eye were having trouble focusing. Oh, a syringe! Damn it! A woman? An empty syringe. Oh shit! That sure was tricky. What was... What did you drug me with? She waved the question away, like it was no concern of mine. Something to help you go into a nice long sleep. Isn't that nice? Then we can begin your re-education. Your re-re- Education. 
Then fuck with me. I took step towards her. My legs felt heavy. Was it just me? Or was it already getting hard to move? Ah, uh, you got see shit, man. Gonna rise your tenacity. I'll never go through that again. You hear? I grabbed at her, but my hand struck the wall instead almost a second later, and I had moved out of the way. Easy now. She put a hand on my shoulder. Just what are you trying to do? Fuck off! I twisted around to get at her, but it was it was like moving underwater. Oh, please don't do this, Jack. You're making it too fun to tease you. Oh, she's crazy. I won't be able to hold back. I stumbled down, just barely catching myself before my head hit the floor. My eyes wandered up to the ceiling. My limbs were, la were lit. I felt I could not move. Oh, this nice touch. I like it. There you go. Help! I was a fly. Hmm? Help! I uh, trapped in a spider's web. Honestly, I mean, Mataku, what are you doing? Help! With no way out. Uh, stop that. Help! The neighbors will think we are weird. We already are. I went to shout again, but something cut my throat, and instead, I nearly cuffed my lungs out on the floor. <coughs> Oh. Are you all tuck tuckered out now, sweetie? Goodness, you really had some fight in you. You are pretty scary. Look who's talk. Next time, I'll definitely. Um, what's that? I hear it then too. The front door handle rattled. Then someone bang it bang on it twice. Ah oh. Anna laugh. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> I think I know who this is. Anna it's down on me too. I tried to shout again, but I was still coughing. Oh, Grace, no! Anna went to the front door on tiptoes and checked the peephole. She had to put a hand over her mouth to stop herself from giggling. To me, a uh, she mouthed the words, Guess who? I know who. She was here early, and I'd felt her. And I waited until the banging started again. In the, seal, uh, in, in the single 
fluid motion, she unlocked the door, opened it, and stood back. Oh no! Ah! Grace stumbled in, her toothpick of a knife in hand. Jack! Uh, uh, what? Anna was a blur. She elbowed Grace in her, the stomach, then jumped back as if expecting Grace to slash at her. Oh, she's pro at it! Grace did nothing of the sort. Her knife slipped from her hand. She fell down right after it. Huh? That's it? Really? After closing and locking the door again, Anna stepped closer, fearless now. She kicked Grace in the ribs. Ouch. Gah. You invade someone's home. And this is all you can do? Someone's precious home? Oh, others angry. Uh, uh, on a guy? Yamete? Come in aside. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anna Sai. Huh. Dame dane. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are uh, hopeless. She went to her purse and rummaged through it. I knew you had your hand in this. You are the only one who can corrupt my check this way. Bitch? No! You are the one who corrupt me! I mean, her ignorance, it's... It ticks me off so much. Well, no more. Anna broke back another syringe. This one still filled with a clear liquid. This is a jack dose. Try not to die, okay? Stop! Stop that! <coughs> I had managed to stand back up. Damn, with determination! Let's go, Jack! You can do this! Even though we already know the outcome, but let's go! I wasn't going to let this freak hurt Chris. Leave her alone! Christ's sake! Don't do that! Uh, do what? I look again. It had already been done. The syringe was empty. Damn it! I'd been too slow. Sit down and be good patient boy again while I decide what I'll do with this girl Anna wandered off into another room she shouted from there do we have a rope Jack? I'm sure I broke some Oh fuck man, I rushed to where Grace was on the floor. She was, uh, she wasn't screaming in pain anymore. Instead, she was lying down, incredibly still. For a second I thought she was dead, and my heart sank. But she was still alive. She was breathing quick, shallow breaths. Her eyes were close, but fluttering. Shit! 
I needed to get her to a doctor. I look up to the entrance. By some miracle, Anna had left the key in the door. Maybe this is Anna's plan from the beginning. What about duct tape, Jack? Hey, Jack? Jack Kun? Doko? I managed to turn the key in the lock, even in the state I was in. I turned back to Grace. Though she probably couldn't hear me, I had to tell her something. Grace? I'll go get help. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't carry her out. I was on the verge of collapsing on my own. The best I could go was get someone down on the street to help me. I turned the handle using both hands. Come on, Jack! The door wouldn't open. What the? Oh, no. The door was bolted shut. Anna must have added the bolt lock on her own. By an and Grace apartment didn't have one. I tried to unlock it, but my finger wouldn't move like I wanted them to. I tried and tried again. Don't look, don't look back. At best, I managed to get my nails cut on the bolt, almost ripping them off. Ouch! <laughs> I nearly cried from frustration. So, so, so da. <laughs> Excuse me. The uh the uh me when I doing Jack voice make my throat kinda hurt. On the first of giving up and letting go, I look around the small apartment, and I found my means of escape. Ah, uh, I'll either have to see you to uh I have to use my really nice cuff on her, or go to the. Huh? Check? Where are... Oh! Shit! Oh! Did we cough her off guard? Oh, th that's a new expression. Anne has seen me hanging out the window like first. Oh! Is, is he gonna jump? She ran over to me. I slid for the back. Jack, you'll fall. Yeah, that's the plan, Paige. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a miracle. I managed to slide back the curtains and open the window with my useless hands. Stay away from me. I was holding on to the window's sill with open palms. And I was sleeping. No, you'll hurt, you'll hurt yourself. Uh, take my hand. I glance at the street below. When I gun to climb out, I didn't look. Uh, it didn't look like much of a drop. This was only the second floor after all. It's still gonna hurt, Jack. Maybe the drugs will uh will make your legs numb so you won't feel it that much. Now, I wasn't so sure. There was so much empty space between me and the hard concrete. Take my hand, Jack. If I landed well, though, I'd be fine. Probably. What are you waiting for? Oh, we make her panic. I, 
Nice move. Anna grabbed my wrist. Sarabada! <laughs> oh, damn! My hands let go. I was not connected to anything. I floated. Ouch! Oh, that sounds hard. The impact knocked the wind right out of me. There wasn't much pain, but I know I landed badly. I looked down at my body. Oh, I don't want to. I don't like when the. The visual novel do that. I don't want to click more. It's gonna be jump scare, isn't it? Oh, thank god there's no image. I thought there's gonna be a uh, broken leg image. My leg was a shape no leg should be. Oh. Oh. Where the fuck am I? I come back to consciousness, gasping for air. I look at my leg. There was a, there's a blanket over it. I push the blanket aside. My leg is there in a cast. Oh, is this is it the real time now? Is it not the backstory? Am I get kidnapped? It's Ramrod Strike. The sigh calm, uh, calms me. Ah, oh, damn! Is it over now? Oh, it was intense though. I like. I really like it. I really like it so far. But I guess yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. I mean, it de it delivers. It it really delivers. I really love it. Oh damn, it's so intense. But unfortunately, I'm gonna end the episode right now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please consider to like and subscribe for more video. Uh, and. So yeah, uh, hopefully I can uh, I can play it more of uh, like more quickly. But I hope I can continue it tomorrow. I want to know what's gonna happen as fast as I can. But right now, that's it. I see you guys later, and have a lucky day.